Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Cancer for mid-month of November 2020. I'm calling these my mid-month minis. So you're going to get a quick heads up as to what spirit wants you to know for the rest of the month of November here. All right, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And with the little, little bell notification, get notified when I have new videos coming out, which includes your monthlies, mid-months, uh, new moon, full moon, and I do go live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you can check that out as well. We're going to pull one more card there. All right, so I also have five more spots left open for my From Pain to Power mentorship for the month of November. They will go fast, so if you're learning, if you're interested in learning more about that program, you can wait till the end, and I will tell you all about it. Okay, so overall energy for the rest of November for you Cancerians here is the Hangman. So this is about changing perspective. Um, you've got the Two of Swords over here, so I definitely feel as though you're you might you might be blocking yourself, but I'm also hearing the word resistance. Resistance. So you might be resisting something that you know you need to kind of dive into. What's very interesting? I'm just gonna pull another card here. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we've got the star card here with the lovers. So I feel as everything is like, this is really beautiful energy here. <clears throat> so, all right, you guys are going to have to give me a second because I really need to read these over here because this is very like, what is up, right? What is up? Um, the full, the new moon is coming in um, around the 15th, I believe, of November. And I feel as though with the new moon, things can really um, start to shake things up there. And again, it's really about being very honest with yourself here. But I feel like this is this is backwards, all right? So I don't know how this is resonating with you guys, but this is what I'm getting and just go with it and like let me know how it resonates with you later. But usually this would be switched. This would be switched. But for you, maybe this is the full moon. I'm not sure when the full moon is coming in, but again, I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's, I think in the beginning of December, maybe. Anyway, my point is, is that everything seems to be going good. Okay. So your life is good. Everything seems to be going good. It's very, um, what they're showing me is very stable. It's not great. It's not bad, but it's very like, okay, I've got it down pat. Like I know what I'm doing every day. It's very, like I said, predictable and stable is what I'm getting here, okay? And it doesn't mean, that can mean like, even if it's in a bad way, like even if you don't think you are where you want to be, but it's very, every single day is kind of the same energy is what I'm getting there, okay? Um, this could also be your connection to the divine with the lover's card, so with the star card as well. So like in the very beginning of the last two weeks of um, November, you could be feeling really connected. You could be feeling really good. I know I'm saying a million things, so it can be very confusing as well for the last month, uh, last part of the month. But I do feel as though there could be a very big connection that you have. However, going forward towards the end of the month, maybe with whatever moon, and I don't know if the moon is like stat, like lagging behind, like maybe the new moon energy is really going to hit you like a week after is what I'm feeling here. So please let me know in the comments if that actually resonates after, you know, obviously after the new moon. Um, but like your energy starts to deplete here. And I feel as though you start to look at the negative side of things here. This is about having three cups, you know, uh, spilled over and focusing on what's spilled over versus what's here. And this card's been coming up, up a lot in these readings for the month of November. But, you know, with the moon card here, like I said, I feel like it's, the energy of the moon is lagger, lagging for you. So therefore, you might actually hit the um, the lessons of the moon after the moon, all right? I don't know what I'm saying, guys, but this is what I'm getting, okay? So just realize that I'm just feeling like it's lagging. So you might not learn the lessons you need to learn in, like, say, the six days around the new moon, but towards the end of the month, you might understand what the new moon was bringing to you. There we go. That is what I'm trying to say. All right. But um, I need to pull some more cards for you guys. I don't know why they're doing this, but we got to pull some more cards. So really about changing the perspective. So when you get into this energy and you start to, you know, focus on the lack, 
It's about bringing it back to how you felt right here, right now, where you felt really connected. That doesn't just go away. It doesn't, you know, spirits and divine energy just doesn't go away. It is always there. What is the issue is you inside and how you're feeling, how you're looking at things and the thoughts inside of your mind. And again, with the two of swords here, it's like you are, you are keeping yourself blindfolded, yet you have the swords right there to cut that blindfold off, but you're not doing it. They're also making me feel as though somebody has come in the way of that. So like somebody is um, causing you to all of a sudden start to feel differently, start to look at things differently. So be very protective of your energy. Be very protective of who you are around um, because don't let other people get in your head. It's really important, okay? And here we go. Yeah, so we've got the five of cups. So this is about, you know, unfulfilled expectations. This is about feeling like, you know, <clears throat> left out in the cold. Um, uh, feeling like you didn't meet up to those expectations that you had. And you've got, again, you've got the ten of swords here. So this is about healing and second chances, but it's also about an ending. So realize that if there is an ending towards the end of the month, that it is divinely guided and it is needed to push you back into this energy. So again, if there's something around you, a situation, even a work atmosphere, um, it could be something like that, that is making you feel this way. And it's important to let it go like as soon as possible. All right, let's see. Yeah, completion. So very, very important to be aware. This is a sacral chakra orange, orange, orange here, sacral chakra, where this is where your trauma and your joy is stored. And you can't get that joy back until you let the trauma go. So definitely be aware that there's an ending coming towards the end of the month here, and it might make you feel depleted and defeated. But just realize that you will bounce back over here to the hangman, because I mean, to the lovers and to the star card, to the connection to your divine. But you've got to change your perspective. Don't be the emotion, step outside of the emotion and be aware of what you're feeling rather than be in what you're feeling. And let me know in the comments if that makes sense to you. All right, so that is what I have for you. I'm sorry that it's all over the place, but you might feel that way come the end of November. You might feel like you're all over the place, okay? Confusion. Um, yeah, but just remember you will bounce back. That's the really important part. All right, so go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also if you are interested in learning about my from pain to power mentorship it is a eight week deep intensive healing program that takes women through a process of healing after toxic relationships and we dive really deep down into the childhood we transform your limiting beliefs that were created back then from whatever situations you went through as a child um, if you're not feeling good enough if you don't feel worthy enough if you have a hard time setting boundaries and enforcing them uh, if you're confused about why you feel the way you do, like that's what this program is all about. We transform your limiting beliefs. We release the energy around the past. Um, we build your self-confidence and we really take your power back in your life. All right. So if you're interested to see if that's a good fit for you, you can check out the little questionnaire down below in the description box or in the comments. And um, yeah, just realize that, you know, the divine never leaves you. You always have the ability to connect it's about letting go of the way you're thinking or feeling that's keeping you away from that connection. So don't let anybody do that. Let it go, whatever this is that's ending. Like it's time for it to go so that you can get your joy back in your life here. All right. Much love to all of you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.